that will give them the few, that, let me list them below the few things below mr president if you want to know why the youth are so so loud and hooligans like you say and all these things with manga the youth want to be able to finish university as hard as it is and as expensive as it is and be able to get a job mr president the youth also want to be able to know that if i go to the hospital and i have an ailment but i am i am broke and given the fact that i'm a citizen who pays taxes on something here or there the government hospital that is supposed to be looking after me can afford me with my medication and the facilities are going to look good because <laughs> i pay my taxes you want me to pay my taxes, but you don't want to give me the services that these taxes are being collected for. You all think I'm stupid, Mr. President? I'm just saying. Secondly, the youth want to be able to live in their country and not be terrified of which big guy sits in which office. We are tired of technical know who to make all year. You have one guy running in the same office for the past 55 years. Nigga is old and senile. But you still have him at the helm holding on to it. No. The youth also want an opportune moment. They also want a chance. They also want to try to show you what they can do. But you keep pressing them down. You have pressed the youth of Uganda so down that our youth are going to be house girls and house boys in Arabic countries. These are educated kids. Some of them have degrees, diplomas. They could actually be of service in their nation. You have made it such a bad situation for us to live in, Mr. President. So when we shout, it's not out of anger. It's out of freaking frustration. When you get a job, you have to be worried who is the boss sleeping with. Okay, you also have to be worried. Because we don't know you. If you have the qualifications, you have to sit back and worry. Will I really get this on merit? Or is the boss's second cousin on his uncle's left side going to get this job because she's just a cousin? Mr. President, to be coy. The thing is not that we hate you. I wish somebody should have told him that. We just want what we want. We want a fair chance, a fair chance at being the citizens our parents told us we were supposed to be. No, no, president, president, doctor. Tutu degree we have them at home. Those degrees we worked so hard. All the hopes our parents have in us, we're using them back home. So we don't scream, shout, and call you names or any of that.